everyone, it's me Mary or Hawk and welcome back to another tarot video. This is the collective tarot message, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And not every message is meant for everyone, but I will try to tell what is from my intuition and if something's on the tip of my tongue, I will go to my guidebook for better help articulating what my intuition is picking up on. I'm neurodivergent, so sometimes articulating what it is that I am picking up on or, or feeling intuitively can be difficult. So sometimes I just need a couple uh, pointers with the words, but I know the meanings. So with that being said, you should ask your question, and I call upon your guides, deities, ancestors, and beings of the best and highest good of the viewers and the collective to um, come through through this message and offer the advice and input and perspective that whoever is watching will need. So with that being said, I am going to shuffle here like so. And now I'm going to split the deck. And so the first card we have here is the tower. A lot of people fear the tower. The tower to me is kind of like, uh, think of it like a black mold infested building. Um, you have to tear down that building in order to build back a better, safer environment and situation for everyone else, including yourself, because it's not a healthy situation and it needs to have a chaotic, perhaps even messy destruction in order for a newer, safer thing to be built. And yes, you might have um, some emotional connections to that building, but it's really for the best and highest good if you allow these things to fall apart and uh, be destroyed so that you can build back a new from the big like from kind of from scratch you know what i'm saying i hope that makes sense so the next card we have is the black newman this is another card um that's from this deck i'm using the white newman a sacred animal tarot and this often points to destruction and loss so again you might experience a loss of something and it's going to be very chaotic and messy but it might be for your best and highest good that this happens so while yes it's going to be difficult it's going to be important that you keep your head he held high and you have hope for the future in spite of a seemingly bleak situation. And we have the Magician, which points to your ability to create the reality from this place of having lost, of having had things destroyed. You get to create this reality anew. You get to, re you get to create and manifest what it is you truly desire from scratch as a result of having lost something and that thing have been chaotically taken away. From the ashes, you can rise again as a phoenix. And that's what I'm seeing there. The next card is the Eight of Pentacles, which shows to me that it'll be hard work and you'll have to work diligently, but you will be rewarded for doing this hard work and putting in the work to manifest what it is as you, that you desire. And I'm noticing the pentacle on the um, magician's little, like, um, cape there, like the clasp. And that really points to me that, yes, that you will have to be patient. And if I go to my guidebook here, the Eight of Pentacles is all about hard work and productivity, so you're going to have to really work hard for what it is that you desire. And the next card is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups shows me that this will be a very emotionally um, active new beginning for you. This will be an emotionally new, active new beginning, and you're going to want to tap into some of those watery creative energies. And perhaps you'll find something that you really love and are passionate about. And you'll find that you're really passionate about this thing that you are having to build from scratch. And... This will be definitely, like, a labor of love and passion is what I'm seeing. To create, in spite of the pain, in spite of the loss, you're creating a new, better thing with the lessons learned. And that you're going to create something that you're really passionate about. It's going to be a labor of love and passion. It's going to be for the best and highest good of you and the collective. And last but certainly not least is the sun. The sun is really an encouraging card here because you have, like, clarity and perspective on what it is that you experience from this loss. But at the same time, this is like a positive message to keep your head held high to have hope that to know that what you are looking for will result what you're doing is going to result positively is what i'm trying to say and if i look at the guidebook just to get because there's something on the tip of my tongue and i don't know how to articulate it it's telling you to be optimistic and to really focus on what it is that you desire like the magician like just focus on what it is that you desire keep your head held high you're gonna have ups and downs it's not always a linear path but you will succeed just stay optimistic and um, keep in mind the newfound clarity that you have as a result of having lost significantly in some way, in the chaotic way, the sudden upheaval, but having to build from scratch. It really will give you perspective and clarity of mind when it comes to building anew and what you value and what you will and won't tolerate and um, what you will and will not accept from others. And I hope this makes sense. Um, I hope this message was helpful for whoever needed to hear it. Again, have hope. Yes, you're going to lose something in a very chaotic, 
a sudden way, but you it's for your best and highest good, and you can create a new from this place of loss. So again, the cards we have, or had, were the Tower, Black Newman, we have the Magician, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and then the Sun. So I hope this made sense, and I'm happy you watched. Um, thank you for watching. This is Hawk, or Mary, signing out. Thank you for coming along with me on this part of my journey. Stay magical.